What is up guys, it's me Vilkas. Today for you guys I have something very exciting and it's called Radiation City. I'm sure if you guys are up and uh, updated on the iOS App Store, uh, you may have seen this on the featured list of new games uh, added onto the iOS Store. It was made available on Thursday and it's called Radiation City. I think I just said that. <laughs> and it's made by Atypical Games, the guys who created Infinity Tanks and Radiation Island. Now, Radiation Island was a game they came out with in 2015, and it was a runaway hit for a survival game on mobile. And um, it just, it took off, and uh, everyone loved it uh, up until a certain point where everyone, where you had to beat the game to play multiplayer. Now, I'm not sure if you actually need to do that for this game as of right now. Um, I haven't delved deep enough into the game, but I have some information about the game, about like the storyline, what you can do in the game, and uh, some comments and thoughts on it from playing it for about half an hour to an hour. So, um, the game is very, very similar graphics-wise and everything like that uh, to Radiation Island. Um, if you've ever played Radi Radiation Island, you guys know that the graphics in that game looks beautiful, and you know that translates really well into Radiation City. Uh, from now, I'm just going to regard uh, uh, refer to the two games as Island and City. That way, I can eliminate one whole word. But um, so City is very similar to uh, Island, but the problem is, or not problem, uh, but it, what's interesting with uh, City is that uh, Radiation City is centered in Pripyat. Uh, Russia or Ukraine uh, when uh, Chernobyl went down uh, and it's more based in uh, modern times you've got M4s, AKs in this game whereas in Radiation Island um, it was actually back in World War II so the 1940s on a Japanese uh, controlled island, annexed island so um, much much different in terms of setting uh, you, we've gone from island to uh, in the country in Europe and the zombies are very similar we've got crawlers we've got uh, normal walkers and runners and stuff like that I'm sure there's other types of zombies as well but this is just the beginning of the game uh, you have to deactivate uh, those towers that uh, I showed you guys earlier in the game uh, just like in Radiation Island, uh, you have to escape the area, uh, and it's a huge area again. Um, so be very, very, very careful about how you uh, distribute your resources. And that's another thing I wanted to mention, is that your resources dwindle ridiculously quickly. I think uh, something I would mention to, to the developers is that please uh, modify the resource depletion rate. Um, you know, make it a little bit slower. I was really tired of running out of food and water right off the start of the game. Um, you know, I didn't have a can opener. I had to go get the can opener. And to get the can opener, you have to run by, like, 30 zombies. And to kill, you have to kill all those zombies. And then you need food to regen health. And if you're already low on food, you know, then you're not going to regen health at all. And then you're going to die, which is what happens to me at the end of this gameplay, unfortunately. What's interesting about this game is that instead of using a torch, you can now use a light. Uh, so now you've got directional lighting. You can use a torch if you find one. So you've got uh, uh, spotted light, meaning you can have light go in all directions instead of just directional light. Uh, so, you know, it's interesting. You, you, you spawn with a light emitting device, uh, which didn't occur in Radiation Island. There's different weather effects in the game, uh, like at the start of the game there was a rainy version, now there's a foggy version, there's nighttime cycle, which is really interesting. You really, really, really like to see all these different things added into the game, and um, you know all these features that were back in Radiation Island being re-implemented into uh, Radiation City. I'm going to be making tons and tons more games, of course. Uh, it is not currently uh, compatible with iOS 11 beta, so those of us who have iOS beta, like I do, uh, I actually had to record this using Elgato Game Capture instead of uh, iOS 11 screen recording. So guys, thank you very much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you guys think of Radiation City down in the comment section down below, if you have indeed gotten the game, it is currently $5 USD on the iOS app store, and hope to see you all later on, thanks for watching.